As I walked into the old, abandoned school, I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. The walls seemed to press in on me, the shadows twisting and writhing like living things. I had always been fascinated by the school, ever since I was a child. It had been closed for years, ever since a series of strange events had driven the students and teachers away. But I had always been drawn to it, as if something inside of me recognized the place. I pushed open the creaky front door and stepped inside. The air inside was musty and stale, the smell of decay and rot hanging heavy in the air. I could hear the sound of footsteps echoing through the halls, even though I knew I was alone. I followed the sound, my heart pounding in my chest. As I walked, the footsteps grew louder, until I could hear the sound of heavy breathing and rustling fabric. I turned a corner and saw a figure standing in the hallway. It was a woman, dressed in a long, flowing gown, her hair wild and unkempt. She was standing completely still, her eyes fixed on me. Who are you? I asked, my voice barely above a whisper. The woman didn't answer, but instead she began to move towards me, her movement slow and deliberate. I could see the intelligence in her eyes, the understanding of what was happening. She was a ghost, trapped in this place, unable to move on. What do you want? I asked, my voice shaking. The woman reached out a hand and touched my face. Her touch was cold and clammy, and I felt a chill run down my spine. I want you to know, she whispered, her voice barely audible. I want you to know that I'm not alone. There are others here, others who are trapped like me. They're waiting for you, waiting to be found. And with that, she vanished, leaving me standing alone in the hallway. I knew that I had to find out more to uncover the secrets of this haunted school.